This is the first drive on the Shelton Abbey shoot. This is a shoot that I've been coming to since I'm 11 years of age. Started beating here and shot my first ever driven game here on a keeper's day. And I actually worked here when I left college for three years as a keeper. So I have a great personal connection to this shoot. And been invited today to film and shoot. So a real treat for me. And it's only their second day of the season and it's the first time pushing this drive through. And just with the year that's been, there's still a lot of leaf on the trees. So I wouldn't expect the birds to fly massively well here. We're gonna be nice and selective, just a nice way to, to get the day started. My first time using this Benelli 828 as well. So I don't want any screamers yet till I dial in with this. Shot a, shot a few clays with it yesterday and it shoots really nice. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get a, a few here. Just for this first drive, I'm using black gold 32 gram six fibers and later on here we'll be on some proper high stuff. I'll be going up a couple of weights in cartridge. Basically on this drive there's a cover crop behind this wood and it's quite small, a couple of acres, but there's a native Irish plantation behind that and some fields and they'll be blanking in all the fields and the native Irish plantation into this cover crop. So the birds might have to fly three or four times before they even make it over us. So this early in the season, before the birds are fit and strong, um, they can be pretty tired by the time they get to us. So, but later on in the year, when the birds get fitter and stronger, they'll be sailing over these trees and they make really testing shots because you've only got very small windows to shoot them in and it can be, can be quite tricky. That was a good little drive to start. We were really out of it up here on the top of the line. Um, the guys down below us got some, got some good birds. They got up above the tops of the trees and flew down the hill nicely. Uh, I shot three birds there. I was trying to be, was trying to be pretty selective, but um, just didn't really want to sort of shoot into this foliage. But yeah, onwards and upwards, next drive. So yeah, the gear we wear when we're driven shooting, I mean, it's, it's very much just traditional dress, um, shooting clothing and golfing clothing. It was traditionally plus fours, and they have a very sort of practical nature. If you're in shoes and trousers, tweed trousers, and you're out in the mud like we are, your trousers get filthy and they're difficult to clean. So they wore short trousers, long socks, and socks were much easier to clean, and it's just, become a tradition and for me I just enjoy that whole getting dressed up wearing the gear but the gear I'm wearing today is all from Jack Pike and most people will know there's some really really expensive brands of shooting clothing which are great but for me I do this two three times a year I don't need to go and spend a thousand or fifteen hundred quid on tweed breeks and a, a shooting jacket and it's why I love the Jack Pike stuff I'm I'm literally dressed for 200 quid. I mean, David Wright spends more a month on makeup for doing the news than, um, than I spent on my gear for today. And yeah, you look smart. Massive team effort here. Just there have been people here since before first light this morning. We've probably 20, 25 beaters out in front of us, 15 or 20 pickers up behind us, just to make sure everything runs smoothly. Here it's a single-handed keeper, although his wife would kill me for saying that. He, he gets a hell of a lot of help from his wife and his kids, but with beaters. A lot of the beaters and the pickers up, it'll be about the dog work, and it's a great way to get out and train a young dog and work a dog. For me, nothing more satisfying than working your own dog.
I don't think I've ever put lead on a bird like that one with the second barrel. For me, it's an adrenaline rush. It's, it's not a competitive sport, but it's an adrenaline rush. I cannot believe the kills I'm getting with these cartridges. Beautiful Irish weather has come in fairly heavy to try and spoil the fun, but still it's good shooting weather. You get the get the wet gear on and, and carry on. Got my ass kicked a bit there by them. Um, they didn't fly fantastically well in this heavy rain, but they were tricky. There was a lot of birds just coming out with a, with a nice curve on them. I was struggling, I was sort of trying to get through them as high crossers here, and they were they're just swinging towards me all the time, so you had to really pull the gun in front of them and up above them, it felt like. And yeah, I was, I was pushing through a lot of birds there and missing them underneath, but Shot some, shot some really nice ones, really happy. Shot a screaming crosser trying to sneak back across the wood late on there. Must have been 60, 65 yards away, so. But pegs are pretty tight together here. So I was able to watch my neighboring gun, see when he was unloaded, and then take birds that were going across his peg, which is perfectly fine to do in my opinion. But yeah, it's just been a, been a wonderful day. It's been everything I hoped it would be, but I can't thank the Shelton Syndicate and Harry Nash enough for have me along for today, it's been absolutely brilliant.